Hi, and welcome back to Computer Science for Everyone. In this lecture, we're going to look at binary trees. This is a data structure that's different from anything else that we've studied so far. So, what is a binary tree? Well, a binary tree is different, and it is not a sequence, and it's not a group of objects. It is a branching structure, just like a tree. So, a binary tree has nodes. A node points to two other nodes, and a node can have a right child and its left child. Those are the two nodes it's pointing to. Nodes are ordered with a key you, you can pick when you're programming the node. The right child is going to have a greater key than the parent, and the left child is going to have a smaller key than the parent. Let's see this graphically. Let's say we have our 15, which is our root node, or our head. And then we have 17, which is larger, so it goes to the right. 17 is 15's right child. And then this 17 can have another child that also goes to the right and is also bigger than 17. 15 then has a smaller child that goes to the left. And this is 10. And 10 can also have, of course, two children. Um, 13 is bigger and goes to the right. 8 is smaller and goes to the left. Of course, if 10's right child, which is 13, if it was bigger than 15, then it would go to the right of 15 and not to the left. So, of course, no, no node in the left can be bigger than 15. And similarly, no node in the right can be smaller than 15. Okay, so, a node points to two nodes, right and left. Nodes are ordered with a key, and the right child has a greater key, the left child has a smaller key. Let's see how we could add a new node. We have this binary tree here that we've just seen, and let's try to add 16 to it. So we make this bigger for you to see. And we start at 15, so we get, we go to 15, we create a marker node, for example, just so that we can keep track of where we are. And then we ask ourselves, is 16 greater than 15? If it is, we go right. So we are at 17 now. Then we ask ourselves, is 16 greater than 17? No, it is not. So we go to the left. But we don't have a node to the left, so we create a new one and put it in 17's place. So there we have it. This is how we create a new node. Let's see this in text. We have a node we're trying to add. If its key is greater than the current node, we move down the right, making the current node equal to its right child. If the key is smaller than the current node, then we make the current node equal to its left child. So the current node is the marker node. So if the key is greater, we change the marker node to be, instead of the head, be the one directly to its right, essentially shifting the marker node. If the key is smaller, we move to the left. If the key is the same, we stop because we don't want duplicates. If the current node is null, this is the marker node, we make it equal to the node that we're trying to add. So let's go once again through it graphically. 15 is our current node, or our mark node. 16 is greater than 15, so we moved right, making the current node 17. 16 is not greater than 17, and because this would go to the left, then we make the current node, which is null, equal to the new node. The left child, the 17, is null. And it is also the current node, because we've moved to the left on trying to see whether 16 was bigger than 17 or not. So we make this null node equal to the new node, which is 16. So this is how that goes. We have node trying to add. If the key is greater than the current node, we make the current node equal to its right child, moving to the right. If the key is smaller, we make the current node equal to its left child, moving to the left. If the key is the same, we stop. And if the current node is null, Instead of it being null, we make it equal to the node we're trying to add. Okay. Finding a node is similar to adding a node. Instead of creating a new node, we simply stop when we get to a null. If the key of the node we're looking for is greater than the current node, we move to the right. If it is smaller, we go to the left. If the current node is null, it means we haven't found a node. Because if we did, 
we would eventually get to the key that is equal to the node we're trying to, we're, we're trying to find. So, this is exactly the same as before, but if we get to a null, it means that we've gotten to a, a dead end in the tree. If we find the node, we simply return an exit. We'll never get to a null part. In the next lecture, well, the next video, we're going to be programming this, and I'm sure this will help you in understanding how it is going to work. But I'm sure the the graphical aspect of it also helps in understanding. So, in the next lecture, we'll look at how to delete a node from our inner tree, but before then, we will program the, the, the things that we have up to now. So, I'll see you in the next video.